Hey, it's Interb. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be setting up the budget portion of my Frank Informed Planner. So if you're excited to see how this comes out, meet me on the other side, five seconds that way. Hey! All right, welcome back, everybody. How are you doing? How's your day going? Comment down below, is it day or night right now? when you're watching this. For me, today is Friday. I think this is not going to go up until Saturday. So how's everybody doing? If you watched my last video, I showed how I added this budget portion to the Frank Informed Planner that I have instead of using the big Happy Planner that was a faith um, layout. And so today I'm going to be setting this up for the month of March. And yeah, so let's get started. I have a few things to add in here and I'm going to add some stickers and put the months in because this is undated. All right, so once again, this starts out with a yearly page for your savings goals. We're starting in March, at least with this um, portion. And then it has this month at a glance overview. So there's, there's, it's all very colorful right now. So there's not like too much you can do with it decorating wise and then we move into the monthly layout and i love that it goes from sunday to saturday and then we have the bill pay checklist and like i mentioned in my last video this side of the bill pay checklist because i don't have enough bills to fill out all of these. Um, this side is going to be strictly for my subscriptions that go to a separate account. They're paid separately. This side is for like mortgage, pg e all that type of stuff. This is going to be for stuff that I don't actually need, but I use and I'm paying for. And then you go into the expense tracker. So as I mentioned, I'm not going to do this. So these, there's like five um, pages of expense trackers. These I'm going to remove because I'm not going to use those. And this side, I'll show you in a minute how I'm going to repurpose this. And then at the end, you have a budget review for the end of the month. So this won't be written in until the end of the month. But yeah, so let's see about setting up the calendar. Yeah, we'll do that. So for me, March is all about spring. I love spring. It's probably, not probably, it is my favorite season. And I can't wait for spring to happen. So spring comes in March. I'm super excited. And I'm so excited for spring. So this whole March throughout all my um, planners are going to be spring themed. Flowers, butterflies, plants, growth, that type of stuff. All the beautiful colors coming out oh i can't wait so first things first with this we need to put the numbers in the month so my um this extension pack that i'm using came with some stickers so i'll see if i want to it doesn't have numbers though. What? Oh, no, no, it doesn't have numbers. So it has these type 
but I also have a few different options over here. So I could use these numbers. There's this gold pack that hmm, I have to see the gold might be nice. There's this one. And this might go with some of the flowers that I have to put up on here. But then there's also just like keeping it clear and letting, um, Hmm. I think I might just use this one. Yeah, let's just use that one. Go, go, gadget tweezers. Where are the tweezers? Okay, March starts. Friday. boxes I'm going to these are the stickers that I have that I printed out on my computer and it's on clear um, sticker paper so I'm gonna cut some of these out and see where I want to place them and then I'll go into adding the different things on here Okay, so I got my stickers together, so let's see how we're going to place them. This large one. I think I want it to go kind of like this. Let's see. This is my first time using this um, transparent sticker paper, but so far I really like it. Got it from Amazon. I mean, if I can get in there, you know, and get the backing off. Almost there. Nails, what are you good for? If you can't get me into this stick up paper. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty.
much as my spring scene that I'm going to put on here. But now I want to add, where did it go? I want to add this March. It's a little bit thin and more romantic. Yeah, that's cute. And I'm going to put March on here. on here I'm going to use hmm let me look at my other things okay so I have a few of these books to see if there's any boxes that I'd like to go up in there let's look at this budget book first Yellow works. PGE is due on the. Oh, was that water? PGE is due on the 13th. Water is on the 9th. And. Let's do a pink. Ooh, which this pink will go better. Yeah. I have. Hmm. Well, actually, I'm going to use this one for foam bill. this one for here okay alrighty I think we're done with this portion and I'll fill that in accordingly and I may do something else to this before but this is it for right now let's see without the glare can you see it yeah okay so now we turn this over got bill pay checklist
with this side, like I said earlier, I'm going to be changing this to wrap up my subscription. So I just want to take a piece of this um, some label paper, sticker label paper. I'm just going to cover this up. I am repurposing this portion and I'm going to use it for keeping track of a savings game that I have. page for my savings game of Lamopoly. It's a play on my last name, but basically I have my dice. Each one of these is going to be a different number of saving and y'all know how to play Monopoly. It's basically I'm paying Monopoly for, um, for savings for the month. And so whenever I mean, I have at least four paydays, but anytime else I get some money or something like that, whatever the case. So there can be, all of these can be filled up or only four, but we'll see. This is what I'm gonna use for it. And then I'm gonna mark the date that I did it, the amount that I had to save and like how much I rolled and what I landed on and stuff. That's what I'm gonna use this side for. And we are done with these pages. For this, for the budget review, well actually let me decorate the budget review real quick and then we'll go into the final portion of this video. <laughs>
we are done with that portion. So what am I adding to my budgeting section? Number one, a savings challenge that I made this printable. And um, if you like it, it's available in my shop. Um, the link is in the description below. So basically each flower is $25. So my goal is to save $500 but we'll see how that goes throughout the month. And then each time I save $25, I'll color one in flowers, butterflies, flowers, butterflies, flowers. And then you can say what you're saving for, your start date, your amount, and when you want the goal date to be. Now, this printed out on the wrong side, so let me punch this on the right side. And voila, we are done. But I don't like the way that looks on that side, so we're gonna cover it up. I thought about doing a color. Let me see. These are kind of see-through. Does that cover the whole thing? Mm, no. Let me go get another one. We'll do this one. You know, it still might be see through. It'll stick with the black and white. And the color will just come from me coloring it in. get this you can print this out in any size you want on any type of paper that you want i have this pre-punched well you saw me punch this side but um this side is pre-punched i got this paper from amazon um so if you have papers like that you can use it or you can do your own and punch it like i did here and then I have this one that I actually got from the Budget Mom. A few years ago, I bought her um, digital version and I like of the savings challenges. And so I like the savings challenges. And so I just go through and I pick and choose which ones I want to do. So I thought it, this would be good, um, a 5% the savings challenge. And so I printed this out on the same paper, already pre-punched. So that's gonna go, and that'll be three savings challenges for the month of March. And so basically, in order to do this one, um, you're supposed to get your total income, make sure you pay all your bills. From whatever's left over, you take 5% each paycheck and put it into savings. You can do this without actually having to have this printable, and you can do it any way that you want. So that's... Uh -oh. Okay, so there's my Lamopoly that I'm going to be playing for savings. There's the March spring themed savings challenge. And then there's this one from the budget mom that I'm going to be doing. And then in regards to debt payoff, I only have one credit card left. And so I created this printable and this is available as well in my shop, link down below. And so basically I'm putting my starting balance and then my ending balance at the end of the month. And between the petals and the leaves, there's about 60 spaces. And so 
I'm going to take the starting balance that I have right now and divide it by the number of spaces. And then that's going to be what I put here for the amount to, to, co um, to color in each one. And then we'll see how it goes at the end of the month. I'll see how much I have left in paying off this credit card. And then there's these student loan ones that I made. And so how I plan on doing this is in each box, I'll put the total amount for that loan. And then in the grid spaces, I'm gonna create something to color in how much I've paid off. Um, and there's two pages of these because I have 10 different loans, student loans. And so that's gonna be as far as debt payoff that I'm doing. And once again, there's the budget review sheet. So let's see what we have for my budget section. So you open it up. You have your full year savings goals jar that they gave you. You have a month at a glance sheet. So you can do, oh, sorry, once again, if I was in frame, y'all could see. So, and so that's good. That's that one. And we go over into our month at a glance and I have all my bills marked. And then we have bill pay checklist and that's where I'll put all the bills just so I can see them in a different way. Mark off when they're paid. On this side, it's gonna be where all the subscriptions go and I'll write them down, their due dates, make sure when they're paid. And then we have what we're doing for savings challenges and this is gonna be the Lamopoly. Once again, here's my board and I'm gonna annotate what happens on this sheet. We have a March savings challenge, spring themed. Okay, see y'all like each other. We have this savings challenge from the budget mom, a 5% to savings from each paycheck after you pay your bills challenge. And then we go into debt payment. This is the last credit card that I have to pay off. And then we have the student loans pages and how much we're paying per month in there. And at the end of the month, we have a budget review. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much. If you've made it to the end, if you've made it this far, hopefully this wasn't a long video. But yeah, until next time, later days.